Okay, so let's look at these thesis statements. The first one, the Villette by Sodic ad in Central Magazine uses a metaphor to equate the product to an experience of European middle class living using a cool Nordic color palette, European flora and fauna, and human subjects engaged in typical suburban weekend leisure activities. Hmm, that's the first one. The second one, not only is using robotics and labor-intensive workplaces going to be feasible within the next 10 years, but it will increase job satisfaction, the health of the human population, and therefore the overall happiness of Swiss city dwellers. All right. Um, so I want to look at the first one. The first one responds to a prompt asking the student to select a print or a billboard ad and to write an analysis that identifies the strategies that make the ad work. And when I say work, you have to always think about what it is we're, we're looking at and what working really means. So if it's an ad, we need to go back to what's the reason for an ad, and an ad needs to be able to um, grab a viewer's attention in the context in which it appears. So if it's a billboard, it needs to merit a second glance. The next thing that it needs to do is to be able to create desire, right? And usually we create desire when we make an ad by conjuring a coherent image of the dream that will be lived, perhaps uh, playing on um, inadequacies and insecurities that um, will uh, that this product will do away with, um, perhaps creating a sense of urgency that there is an offer that will disappear that is un, um, that is not going to be repeated, all sorts of things. But once you decide what they're trying to do, you will be able to identify the strategies. Now, usually the author of this thesis statement has spent a great deal of time in the invention phase looking at the ad, um, reading, obviously, the sources that were given to them um, to show them um, all sorts of advertising strategies, uh, the language that we use when we speak about advertisements. And once they've, they've done that, they um, put down their ideas on paper and then they try to group them. And then they try to group them in a way that they have a manageable number of strategies that they can fully speak about in this essay. And so looking at this immediately, it, my, my problem as a reader is it's just a breathless four-line sentence. It needs to be broken up, I would say. The other thing is it uses, for me, a lot of very charged words um, in a way that makes the, the, the reading of the sentence not very smooth. What it does do is it does isolate three things. I do see three strong strategies that can easily become three strong paragraphs, right? What it does in, is it says the word metaphor, and I'm not quite sure this is a metaphor, right? So this is what I've done with this particular thesis statement. Um, I've tried. So the Villette, and I'm assuming that the Villette is a product, by Sodic. So Sodic is the developer that produced the Villette, which is a product ad in Central Magazine. Central Magazine is where it appears, and I'm assuming that the first paragraph will be addressing the audience of Central Magazine. Who reads this? Whose hands does this fall into? Perhaps if it's an English language magazine, that all already defines the audience to some extent, where this magazine is sold, how much it's for. I understand that Central Magazine is a free magazine. Um, so where is it available? Is this the correct audience? What are the assumptions made about the audience? These are all things that advertisers are well aware of when they uh, choose to run ads. So I would say that the left by Sodic ad in Central Magazine, or that appears in Central Magazine, sells the viewer the dream of a European middle class, calm, and active lifestyle. It's a dream that many of us have. Yeah, I would like the garden in the morning. I'd like things to be quieter. Um, I'd like more greenery. Okay, so is that a valid dream that we've seen being sold? Perhaps. Um, the next thing is, it does this by using, and I've broken it up, right? I've tried to identify the strategies more directly and say, using a cool Nordic color palette. Okay, this probably reminds me of Scandi Noir films um, rather than the warm orange hues that are used in films from our part of the world. 
featuring European flora and fauna. That's really interesting. Um, so the, the trees and the plants are less desert um, oriented and more uh, European. They feel imported, okay, perhaps. And including people engaged in typical suburban weekend leisure activities. I, I, I don't know what those might be. Perhaps it's gardening, perhaps it's jogging, perhaps it's a barbecue, perhaps it's sun tanning on the lawn. Um, it's a dream, so, so let's stick to that. But what the, I'm sure this can be improved um, several times over, but what I've done in the improvements is I've isolated it, I've made it clear, I've broken it up so that it's not a run-on sentence, I've identified the strategies that will then become uh, paragraphs, and I've removed the confusion that comes with the word metaphor because a metaphor means something, and this doesn't seem like a metaphor to me at all, okay? The next one above, um, I leave to you to perhaps do in groups, and the next one uh, perhaps you can do on your own, right? Um, now, as you edit these, remember, you need a clear position and two to three clear re reasons why you hold this position. Um, I wish you luck in this activity. I do hope that it helps you solidify um, what you learned in the first part of this uh, presentation on dissertation. We'll be talking more about this uh, throughout the semester. I wish you all the best.